Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. I hope you're having a great day. I'm telling you what, I'm pumped up about this. This is not the official video review series. This is straight up fun. Nothing but having a little fun right here while I have all these drop dead gorgeous machines in my possession. So you know I'm a big time drag racing buff. I absolutely love speed and horsepower and the smell of burning rubber. So while we had them all here, we might as well find out who makes the fastest stand on mower. And again, I wanna be over the top clear about one thing right quick. The actual review series uh, is going to be a very dialed in, very serious and very focused uh, because that is going to be able to help uh, business owners determine what machine is for them. But you got to have a little fun every now and then. And so that's what we're going to do today. Each machine is going to get warmed up to operating temperature. We're going to make sure that every single machine, the uh, front handlebar, some of these are adjustable so you can control the speed. We're going to make sure they're fully forward so that we can maximize the speed of every single machine. Now, here's the disclaimer. The HOA told me no pro stock burnouts in the middle of the street so uh, if somebody breaks loose spinning it just is what it is so i'll grab the mowers in no particular order they're just out here i'm getting ready to do a, a another video right after this one and we're going to detail out and wash and clean all the mowers so they're represented well in the main showcase video so we'll just start over here in the corner go right down the lines and finish up with the front row no i will show absolutely zero favoritism to any of them i am extremely curious myself just to see who actually is the fastest so what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to come over here and stand right in line with the mailbox i'm going to be right down there at the starting line and i'm going to yell out ready set go and when i say go you're going to hit the start uh, start button the second the front tire crosses this plane and breaks the plane of the the line of the mailbox that's when you hit the stop button and then mama will take and write down which mower and the exact time uh that, that's registered what about me? you come over here and watch and cheer okay and then you, 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 you're, you're going to do the you're going to do the drawing. Everybody's off camera, but here's a question, Tammy, who's going to be the fastest? Um, Spartan is my favorite. Spartan, okay. <laughs> Leah, which mower is going to be the fastest? I'm going to go Gravely because I don't know who they are. The Gravely because you don't know who they are, okay. Jax, who's going to be the fastest? Uh. The Spartan thingy. The Spartan thingy. Okay, so you can tell they don't know that much about the brand of mowers, but that's all good. First up, X Mart.
Next up, right Z cave. Theo, you a bad, bad boy. <laughs> so very interesting results right here. Uh, th this first category will be run what you brung. All hands on deck. Whatever is out here is what you got. And again, I want to be overly clear. Overly clear. I take this extremely serious. In no way, shape, form, or fashion, in any way whatsoever, Am I wanting to or trying to be disrespectful to any brand represented? They all are fantastic machines. American made, as good as it gets, top of the line stand on mowers. They each deserve an absurd amount of credit. But at the same time, you gotta have a little fun. You gotta live a little bit. So I thought this would be really cool to do. Coming in at 13th place with a time of 8.02 is the Gravely Pro Stance. Coming in 12th place with a time of 7.12, the Toro Grandstand. Coming in 11th place with a time of 7.05, the Skag V-Ride. Coming in 10th place with a time of 7.02, the X-Mark. Coming in ninth place with a time of 6.92, the bad boy. Coming in eighth place with a time of 6.70, the grasshopper. Coming in seventh place with a time of 6.51, the right ZK. Coming in sixth place with a time of 6.43, the John Deere. Coming in fifth place with a time of a 6.30, the Cub Cadet. Coming in fourth place with a time of a 6.27, the Hustler. Hey, and now it's starting to get very, very interesting. We're left with three, the Ferris Spartan and the Toro Multipro. Comment right now. You can't cheat. And coming in third place with a time of a 6.20, the Toro Grandstand Multiforce. And second place with a time of 6.10, the Ferris Z3X. And that only leaves one. In first place with a time of 5.78, the King of Grass, the Spartan KGXD. This thing is fast. So I want to interject and say something right here that speed does not equal a great mower, okay? You can mow as fast as you want to, but at the end of the day, that does not dictate the overall quality or the overall value you're going to get out of a machine. There's so much more involved than just how fast the thing goes. Quality of cut, ease of maintenance, uh, parts availability, dealer support. There is all kinds of things that goes into a machine. Those things combined as a whole is going to determine how you spend your hard-earned money and which one of these mowers you choose to buy. But I'll have to say that was pretty dang fun. Again, in no way, shape, form, or fashion am I trying to single anything out or any brand out or anything like that basically just a really fun video 
Now let's break it down into classes because these machines have different engines on them. Okay, so I get it. Yeah, I ain't got quite the horsepower that guy's got. Well, we just did the rum what you brung part. Now let's break these down into three different classes. In the carburetor class, coming in fifth is the Gravely at 8.02. Coming in fourth is the Toro Grandstand at 7.12. Coming in third is the X Mark at 7.02. Coming in second place is the Grasshopper at a 6.70. And in first place in the carburetor class is the John Deere at a 6.43. The second class is the Kawasaki Electronic Fuel Injection EFI class. Coming in third place with a 6.92 time is the Bad Boy Revolt. Coming in second place with a time of a 6.30, the Cub Cadet. And in first place in the Kawasaki EFI class is the Hustler at a time of a 6.27. And the last class is the Vanguard EFI 37 horsepower. Let's call this the big block class. In fourth place with a time of a 7.05, the Skag V-Ride. In third place with a time of a 6.51, the Wright ZK. In second place, the Ferris had a time of a 6.10. And in first place, in the Vanguard EFI 37 horsepower big block class, you got it, the Spartan. But what about the Grandstand, the Toro Multiforce Grandstand? Well, it kind of gets its own class because this particular motor is different than anything out here. This is the Kohler Command Pro EFI ECV749. And you remember it had a time of a 6.20 and finished third overall. But you're going to get your own class because I honestly don't have nothing I can pair you with out here as far as the motor goes. So I don't know about you, but for me personally, this was probably the single most fun video I've ever filmed. This is an absolute dream. I'm not gonna lie about it. It's blowing my mind that I have all these mowers in my driveway. A huge, huge special thank you to every single brand here represented, all the local dealerships that, that helped put all this together, the, the territory sales reps, all of you, thank you so much. When we do the actual uh, review series, uh, I will go into detail on uh, you know where the mowers come from, how I got them, and all that kind of thing, because I absolutely want to give the, the credit where the credit is due. I know I've said it three times or maybe four times and I'm going to say it one more time in absolutely no way is this intended to be disrespectful to any brand. It's simply a fun video, hopefully to get people fired up and to get people pumped up about the actual main review series that's coming up. I'm putting a ton of work and ton of effort into this. Please like, subscribe and share. Tell every single person you know in the lawn care community to check us out on YouTube, GCI Turf, Instagram, Facebook, and manufacturers. I want you to be sharing all of this content across every platform that you have so that the entire lawn care community world can see this review series. So now I get the absolute privilege and joy and it's gonna be so fun to detail out every one of these mowers. Uh, that particular video is gonna be kind of like a wash and talk type thing where I'm gonna kind of tell you about the entire uh, review series and, and my thoughts on it and, and how it's been put together and the layout and kind of go into a lot of in-depth detail uh, that's probably going to be a pretty long video. So, uh, but for those of you that like that kind of stuff and like the intricate details kind of behind the scenes, that's the video that I'm filming next. And that'll upload here shortly after this one. And you can check that one out if you want to.
As always, I appreciate you taking your time out of your day. Your, your, the time in your day is very valuable. And I appreciate you spending that time watching me make these videos. I'm having a blast. Check you later.